All right, welcome to Jeremy's Disgusting Kitchen. This video is gonna be different from my normal content. It's just a recipe. I learned it in college when I was struggling financially. And uh, this is a good, cheap thing to make if you are yourself struggling financially or if you just want, you know, cheap food because why the fuck not? Um, so, matzah pizza. It's literally just matzah, which are giant crackers with like any sort of tomato sauce on it and any sort of like shredded cheese on it. It's whatever you want. You can mix and match whatever brand sauce you want, whatever cheeses you want. Uh, now I'm using lightly salted because I like salt and I'm a weirdo. You should not if you do not <laughs> want salt on your pizza. So, you know, again, I would recommend getting non-salted matzah. Now this box was about like what? two three dollars this is about two three dollars and i got the big thing for like ten dollars so uh, what i spent you know like 15 16 dollars yeah that's, that's not much and you get multiple like big big crackers in there each one is its own separate pizza you barely need to use much of the sauce so you're that's gonna last you a while and the cheese i mean i, I got the ten dollar bag so you know hey um, and I gotta buy one, get one, so I have another bag back there. That'll last you quite a while. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get into this. Alright, so the first step is finding a plate that can fit in your microwave and spin freely while having a cracker on top of it. Not that hard. The next step is the sauce. After you've finished saucing, saucing, now it's time to add the cheese. It's just as simple as... Just sprinkle some cheese, however much you want. You want a lot of cheese, put a lot of cheese. You want a little cheese, feel free to just spread it out. Make sure you wash your hands before you handle, you know, all of this, though. You know, like I did. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta get nice up in there. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel, I feel extra cheesy today. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, the feeling of cheese. Oh. It's already looking really good. Um, you don't really need this much cheese. I put a little extra on as long as it's enough to spread out when it melts, because it will spread when it melts. Um, as long as you think it'll cover everything, you're good. And now you're gonna wanna bake it for a minute and 30 in your microwave. That's important, don't use your fucking oven, Jesus Christ. Now the amount of time it takes varies depending on the power of your microwave. Uh, I figured out that mine is a minute and a half, yours may not be the same, you're gonna need to experiment. Uh, you know, just keep an eye on the matzo pizza and if it looks like it's about to, you know, like melt into ash and dust, then you probably cooked it too long. Oh, now look at that, yeah. Oh. No, but seriously, you're gonna wanna let it cool a little bit before you pull it out with your bare hands. Look at that, yeah, that looks pretty good. And now is the best part, when you feed it to your dog. No, but seriously, it tastes pretty good, I promise. Mmm. It's real fucking good. I mean, I think it tastes great. I mean, for what? $15, you can get about like 20, maybe 30 pizzas out of this. That's pretty good. It doesn't taste as good as, you know, your generic like five, six dollar pizza from the grocery store. But at the same time, you're getting a lot of decent food out of this. It's not extremely filling. It's more of a quick snack because it takes, what, three minutes, maybe five minutes to make. So it's just mainly just a quick snack, something to tide you over in the meantime before you actually eat. Or if you are starving and you can't afford anything else, you can make like two, three of these and you'll be fine, which I used to have to do in college. But it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for what it is. So, uh, what, what do you think, huh? Yeah? Me too. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and peace. Uh, pizza. Yeah.